Welcome to the Georgia Highlands College Math 97 and Math 99 instructional videos. In this video segment, we'll be answering the question, how do you solve a linear equation? Well, there are some simple steps that we can follow to do just that. The first step is to simplify both sides of the equation if needed. That would mean combining any like terms that already exist on, the, on those sides or uh, distributing if that needs to be done. However you need to simplify, simplify both sides of your equation. Secondly, you're going to collect variable terms on one side of the equation and your constant terms on the other side of the equation and simplify again if you need to. Then you're going to isolate the variable to solve the equation. And finally, you'll check to see if that is actually the solution by substituting that value into the original equation. Let's take a look at an example. Okay, so you see here that we have a linear equation. And uh, we know it's linear because the degree is 1. X is raised to the understood first power. And we'll start with our first step of simplifying both sides of the equation. So if you notice on the left hand side, I have like terms there that could be combined. And on the right hand side, I have constants that can be combined as well. So I'll go ahead and do that simplification. 2x and negative 8x gives negative 6x and then I have the plus 40. And that equals, well, when I combine 13 and negative 3, that gives 10, and then I have a negative 3x. So I've completed all the simplification on either side of the equation that I can. Now I'm ready to start moving my terms so that I collect all of my variable terms on one side and all of my constants on the other side. So I'll just start by beginning to collect my variables on the left hand side. Now it doesn't matter which side you collect what on. I just always tend to bring my variables to the left hand side. So I'll add 3x to both sides to get that negative 3x off of the right hand side and bring it over to the left. And when I simplify from there, I now have negative 3x, combining that negative 6x and positive 3x, plus 40 equals 10. I also need to move my constants to the right side, so I'll subtract 40 from both sides to do so. There's my zero pair. And now I have negative 3x is equal to negative 30. At this point, we want to isolate the variable. And we'll do that by dividing the negative 3 off of both sides. So whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. And that just turns into 1. So that x is being multiplied with 1, which is just x. Negative 30 divided by negative 3 is 10. So we get the potential solution of x equals 10. But before we make that statement, we need to check it. And we check by plugging into the original problem. So 2 times x minus 8 times x plus 40 should equal 13 minus 3 times x minus 3. And now we're going to go back and plug in 10 wherever we had x and see if we get a true statement when we simplify down both sides of the equation. So 2 times 10 is 20. Negative 8 times 10 is negative 80 plus 40. Then we have a 13. Negative 3 times 10 is negative 30 and a negative 3. Now I just need to combine my constants on both sides of the equation. So 20 minus 80 is negative 60 
plus 40. 13 minus 30 is negative 17 minus 3. Negative 60 and positive 40 give negative 20. And negative 17 and negative 3 combine to also make negative 20. So we can safely say that 10 is the solution to our linear equation. I hope that this has been helpful for you in understanding how to solve a linear equation. Once again, we simplify both sides, collect your variable terms on one side, constants on the other, simplify again if you need to, isolate the variable to solve, and then check by substituting into the original equation. If you have any other questions about how to solve a linear equation, please contact your Highlands instructor. Thank you.